All right, y'all, so Raymond H. Checks, this is day two of orientation at MBT. So what to expect? If y'all haven't watched the first video, go watch the first video because um, I could explain it just like this. The first day, it's pretty hectic. You got a lot of people running around trying to get things situated. And uh, they're just trying to get you right the very first day because everything you don't finish in the first day goes over to day two. And let me tell you, day two, excuse me, it can only be hectic just because there's a lot of quizzes and a lot of little slideshows you gotta do. Excuse me. And um, it's getting late, man. I need to give me some sleep. I am a little tired. So um, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and try to sum this video as quick as possible, but give y'all the most information that I possibly think can help y'all. So um, with that being said, thank you so much for watching it, by the way. But yeah, so boom, day two. From eight o'clock, when you get there, let's say from eight o'clock to 11, you're in class taking about three to four tests, if I'm not mistaken. Three to four tests. You're gonna uh, go over a subject, take a quiz. Go over another subject, take a quiz. So you're basically watching slideshows. Then you do some uh, tablet work. I was gonna call it a Qualcomm, because I'm so used to call it, call it a Qualcomm, but it's the tablet. So you go over the tablet, you go over, I think, uh, Macro 50, you go over what that's about. You go over um, your on-duty sleeper, how they run it. Um, what fuel stops and all that good stuff so that's from 8 to 11 then from 11 to 12 ish around there i'm just throwing some times out there so don't get the times pinpointed and below oh, this is what we're doing they'll let you know when you come here but i'm just giving you a rough estimate on some times so around 11 or 11 something you'll finish that class up there and go do a walk around of the truck so there'll be somebody there with the truck and showing you everything about an international you would need to know. So he'll tell you about the APU. He'll tell you about the fifth wheel. He'll tell you about all that good stuff. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm gonna let you hit, I'm gonna let him do it. That's his job. He gonna do his thug dizzle, let you know in and out about the truck, what you can't connect, what you can't connect, and different things like that. You know what I mean? And what you can't drill, and what you'll never drill. You know what I mean? But you'll get all that information um in orientation day two and they'll let you know everything you need to know about that then you're able to go to lunch but if you haven't finished those computer classes like i said in day one you'll go back and take those computer classes in day two so you'll get your lunch and go to those computer classes while you eat you'll do the uh computer classes and like i said it's the, it's the quiz i'm sorry it's the quiz on the computer so if you want to have an hour and 30 minutes extra like for lunch i say to go ahead and knock those uh quizzes on the computer out on day one when you should it don't take that long but um you do got to pay attention and you do got to be kind of consistent on day one to finish it so um yeah so finish it on day one so on day two you can be done that you have an extra hour and 30 minutes for lunch and also an, an extra well you get to go home early at the end of the day if you finish it obviously because right after lunch, you do have to go back and do some more slideshows, more Qualcomm videos, and then more quizzes. So um, when you think about day two, think about quizzes. And wearing the same clothes because I just recorded the first video, which is day one. So day three is tomorrow. Day three is tomorrow. And I don't know what to expect. So y'all wish me good luck. By the time y'all see this video, I'll be done with day three. And hopefully Ryan get into that big bag. You know what I mean? But yeah, I hope you're having a great day. Hope this video helps. And um, I'm not done with this video, by the way. I made it sound like it, but I ain't. So boom. At the end of the day, you got more quizzes and more slideshows. Once you're done with that, if you still haven't completed those, um, those computer classes, at the end of the day, you'll go back and finish those computer classes. If you haven't had the time to back or drive, to complete that uh, first portion, you're gonna do that on day two. So everything you don't finish on day one is going to day two. And um, i tell you what, if you can be the most accurate in day one with getting everything finished, your day two will be a lot more smoother. But the only thing is, like I said, is gonna be a lot of quizzes, a lot of slideshows. So if you're the type that gets sleepy during slideshows, well, I ain't gonna lie, most of us are. But if you up like Chuck, and you get a great night's rest on the first day, you green, man, you straight like a light post. You shouldn't have nothing to worry about, but I'm not gonna hold you. Right now it's 11.17 on day two. 
I should be asleep. I'm trying to think of anything else that possibly can entail on day two. I'm gonna give you a little bit more feedback on what it is um, that we learned about in the classroom um, about the tablet. So with the tablet and all that good stuff, you will learn how to run hours of service. So um, they don't use everything. Oh, well, I've been to um, a couple companies and they don't use the exact same thing as other companies so um for a lot of people it was kind of an eye opener like oh damn i didn't know that oh damn i didn't know this so be prepared um to kind of be not shocked but be surprised with different things that this company does which this company does a lot of good things for the company and for the drivers but they do it for a particular reason and you won't know why they do it until they explain it to you. You know what I mean? So that's why I say it's an eye opener because they do different things than other companies. And um, uh, like Ms. D said, y'all will meet her when she gets here. We are professional logistics engineer, engineers. Yeah, we. Uh, that's what we are. It's a whole lot of that going on. So when it comes to pre-planning your trip, it's different here. When it comes to operating the trailer, it's different here um for some people they probably did it before um but certain things that i've done at different companies are a little different i'm not saying it's a whole dramatic change but it is a little different so when y'all come to mbt just know it is a little different you know what i'm saying um we learn about the macro macro 50 when ascended we learned about osnds we learned about um seals locks different things like that, taking pictures, how to send messages on the, on the um, I keep on wanting to say Qualcomm, keep on sending messages on the actual um, tablet, how to send messages, what else did we learn to do? Send messages, um, reach out to certain people, uh, reach out to Penske, um, different things, man. We learned a whole bunch. It, I, I, like I said, it's late. Y'all don't have to know exactly what we learned on because y'all gonna come in here if y'all wanting to come to the school. Y'all gonna, I mean, to the school. Wait, see, man, I just late. What, what's all out here? It is 11.19. It's time for me to get some sleep. But I don't gotta go in depth exactly what we learned on. I'm just trying to give you a little ah ah. You feel me? A little size on to that joint. Because, um, you know, so y'all know what to expect. But when y'all get here, just know slideshows videos and quizzes day two that's what you can expect for day two but i kind of wanted to go in depth just to help you out a little bit but i hope y'all like this video and the very first video that i made on part one this part two so remember you know what i'm saying and i'm just trying to give you a whole summary as much as possible you know what i mean because that's what i was looking for when i came to the job i was like man what do they offer this what do they you know offer here and i'll tell you what y'all gonna be in for a surprise you know it's just certain things that they do different from other companies. Like I said, what makes them who they are. And uh, yeah, so so I don't want to go into specifics about every piece of content that, you know, they're showing and stuff like that. But I did want to give you all an overview on what to expect when y'all get here and little things like that. And um, one thing this company does do is focus on miles per gallon. So the more miles per gallon, you know, what I'm saying you have the better. You know what I mean? But um, they do give away um, bonuses. They give away a card. They give away 25000 things like that. But I'm not going to tell y'all when, how, what, all that good stuff. Because when you come to the job in orientation, they'll tell you what standards you have to meet, how to get it, all that combobulation. You know what I'm saying? So y'all come here and get to that bag. The next video y'all see is part three, orientation day three. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to let y'all know how it goes. So this is day two. Hope you enjoyed the first orientation day. This is the second orientation day. And uh, yeah, right now I'm just jibber jabbing. You know what I'm saying? Boy, tired like a mud. Y'all have a great day, man. I'm going to get up out of these clothes. Shower up real quick and crash out, spaz out. You know what I'm saying? We in MVT, finna cash out. You feel me? But y'all turn up, man. Y'all have a great day. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay up, stay trucking, stay safe out there on them roads. We out, baby. Yes, sir. All love, man. Through Turn pains, but still got more room left to grow. Had to learn to handle business, get a grip, don't let it go. Days full of hard work, passion, grinding. Welcome to my land. I may not know it all, but I promise I know who I am. Toys up.